This is the future. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Sigvald Grimm here and welcome to another video. Oh boy, Sigvald is doing the Injustice Mobile news in time, what a surprise, we expected that. But yeah, this is the series where we take a look at the arena season characters, the challenges, the special offers, the chests that are in the store. Basically, I tell you guys what to work your money, your gems and your time. So if you enjoyed this video, please like and comment because it does help a lot. And uh, subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss a future episode. We're going to start off with the arena season, so first up we're going to talk about Nightwing. It's gonna be the arena season character and this character is gonna have a very interesting hit because first up his passive is going to generate some power as he's blocking and uh, look, look, this actually performs a little bit better than I uh, expected in the past. I underestimated the power generation capabilities of this, but this is a decent thing. Of course you'd rather have a Dr. Fate passive because it's a flat amount of... Uh, uh, power reduction that you get or you'd rather have a sort of salvation because it's a power generation that you can control But this is going to power generate decently for you. I'm just gonna say that uh, Special one is going to give you a power drain on basic attacks Special two is going to give you crit chance on basic attacks and special three is going to give you stun on basic attacks So as you can see he all his abilities do something it looks very good in theory, but in practice There are only two roles that this guy can fill is he a damage dealer? No, his damage is kind of ass compared to the top teams. Is he a good combo builder? To an extent. He's never gonna be used in the top 6 teams in raids and storage and he's not really worth uh, building for that, but he can perform decently for you in Arena 9 Champions Arena. But the problem with that is that uh, he doesn't have the gears in the Arena store anymore. So the only way to get his gears and really make use of him is going to be through random raid drops. And they were back in the day in the Arena, in the arena store, but for some reason I didn't grab them and I'm still missing two of them. I'm still missing some of them, so it might be a struggle to get his gears and get him geared up. A very niche character that you should build only for entertainment purposes, so you can definitely farm him if you want to, but do not go ahead and build him. Or gem refresh for him. Uh, build him if you're a new player, if you're not a new player, it's, it's up to you. Uh, but yeah, now moving on to a character that I don't know why it's a arcane and not tech, and it's gonna follow a very, very similar pattern to uh, Nightwing. So we got Blue Beetle Challenge. His passive is gonna be the increased damage uh, on his basic attacks after using a special ability. And his special abilities are going to give him different boosts. This gives him some lethal chance, this gives him some armor pierce, and this gives him uh, some defense. Uh, the armor pierce and defense are not that great because if you wanted them you could like put them yourself on the gears and talents. Uh, neither is the lethal and he's not uh, gonna make great use of the lethal and the damage on basic attack hits that he gets from his passive is just not enough to make up for it. Again, a character that might perform very well for you in uh, Arena and Champions Arena, but yet again, he sucks in raids and soul raids. So definitely farm him if you want to, but I would not suggest gem refreshing the challenge for him. But yet again, for a new player, he might be quite useful at the start of the game in those arena fights. So definitely farm him. Definitely farm him. Um, and the ever-present Brainiac challenge, I already talked about this in the previous episode, so I'm not gonna bore you guys and I'm gonna skip through it. Cool character, amazing at boosting legendary characters because of this passive, must-have character. Farm it as much as you can, and if you do have already a Black Manta or a Raven, start gem refreshing every difficulty once and the third difficulty a second time. And yeah, now moving on to the store section. We're going to have a lot of Deathstroke chests. Okay, so first up, when it comes to the material chest, first up, the ma there are two chests that have artifact materials. One has reforges, so I suggest you get the one with reforges, first of all. And second of all, those chests are going to have terrible value in terms of gems. They are going to ha have terrible return in terms of value, but they are the only two material chests, so you might be forced to buy them at some point. But do not buy them unless you got other things to spend your gems on because unlocking characters and maxing out characters should always take priority over these chests. Only think about opening them when you're done with maxing out your roster in other regards. Now we got all the Deathstroke legendary chests. So first up, don't really get the gear chest. I don't, I don't advise it. It's overall not worth in terms of your gems, in terms of the value that you're getting. This is not the chest to unlock or max him out. This is the chest to get the gears, in theory. Now, if you really want the gears, this is kind of the only way to get them. But at the same time, 
First of all, it's far more worth spending the 10 bucks to get the gears from these special offers if you want them. It takes far less time than spending uh, up to 40k gems to get all the gears from here. Because it's a, slow, it's a small chance to get each gear and they can repeat themselves. And second of all, I still don't have gears on mine. Could buy them, but I'm choosing not to because he performs... I would say at 90% capacity without gears because he's so dependent on the percentage damage on the special 2 and after that's done he's not gonna do much anyway. So I don't think that will be a priority. Now those two other chests are going to be specifically for unlocking this joke. Uh, you're going to uh, have to choose between this one with 2% chance for 200 shards and uh, this one that's going to have a total of an... Uh, 8% chance of various chances to get various amount of shards. First of all, question number one, do you have Raven? If you don't have Raven, don't buy this. Save up for the Raven legendary chest. Now, if you do have Raven, it's actually going to be a pretty good legendary to get because regardless of how terrible his gameplay is, he's actually going to deal a ton of damage. He might be the, I think he really is the best character in the game at zero investment. Straight up, after unlockment, he'll do amazing damage for you if the enemy uh, boss is gonna be crazy high health. So if you don't unlock him, this chest will be far more luck reliant and I really don't suggest you get it because uh, some chests like the Raven one have a redeeming quality which is Catwoman being in there and there I'm like, well if you also want Catwoman you can open the one with Catwoman in it but if not you can open this one. Uh, but this one has Nightmare Batman, and Nightmare Batman is in the arena seasons, and he's not a great character. Or there is not a must-have character, and he's useless in raids and soul raids, so... Uh, opening this, you're going to get an increase... You're, you're pretty much going to miss out on this increased chance, because the shards for him are gonna be kind of pointless. So get a legendary chest if you wanna max him out and unlock him. I can't guarantee you'll get him, it'll be a gradual progress, but this is the, the best way to gradually unlock him. But again, it depends on your luck, so if you get crazy unlucky, don't blame me. Uh, Metahuman power-up, don't even touch this. All the power-up chests are going to be terrible. Any Mortal Kombat chest, uh, this will have increased chances for Raiden and Sub-Zero, they are decent for Renine Champions Arena, so if you're a new player like in the first one to two weeks of playing the game and you need characters for Renine Champions Arena, you can go for this instead of this one. Now moving on to special offers, we have Prometheum Starter Pack, Prometheum Duo Bundle, Prometheum 4 Star, hold on, we'll, we'll, we'll get back to all those. In a minute, so I was just looking if there were any other artifact offers. So, that's gonna give you uh, a chance to get one of them at level 1, this is gonna give you... Uh, if you're a new player, then this is definitely gonna be something that can definitely help you out. Uh, because this is gonna give you three gold characters, and regardless of what you get, because there's a ton of trash in here, but some decent ones, it's gonna be helpful for you in Arena NCA at the start of the game, and you're going to get two Prometheum artifacts, so if, if you're a new player, this is gonna be decent value for you. Um, but the thing to keep in mind when uh, buying those things and those bundles that are gonna come in too, is that you're gonna get the benefit of having something else in there. Like, over there you're gonna get a few gold characters, over here you're going to get... Um, some materials, but the thing is the chances for the higher level artifacts are going to be heavily reduced. You're gonna see artifacts all the way up to level 10 here, but if you open the bundle that's not currently in the store that has just artifacts all the way up to level 10, those are going to have higher chances for higher level artifacts. So if you're looking for higher level artifact, I suggest those. At the end of the day, you don't have to buy any of these that are in here because uh, the last contract is by far the most free to play soul raid and you just don't need that. Dark Side Gears, you don't need them, o only reason I see for you buying this is if you want two gear sets for Dark Side, and that's up to you, but definitely buy the level 10 one. And if you already unlock Dark Side, just be patient, you'll unlock all the gears uh, through achievements and you'll get the last piece as soon as Dark Side reaches level 50. Uh, don't buy the Gamble bundle for uh, Deathstroke. Now there's a bundle for Red Hood in here, and as far as I remember previously, this bundle was far more expensive. This one is gonna contain all blades, this one is not gonna contain all blades, you don't have much of a reason to buy the one without all blades. Even though it's cheaper than other 4 star character bundles, I, I don't think it's worth it. But this one with all blades, if you want it to, and if you really want all blades, you could buy it. This is actually decent value for what it offers, but if you don't have Raven, buy a 3 star Raven with that money instead. Uh, don't buy the Lord. Why, why is this here? What's what's the point of this? But yeah, don't buy them. They're in the arena store as far as I remember. 
Dark side gamble bag, I'm not even gonna get into that. Just just don't. Just don't. But yeah, with all being said, thank you so much for watching. This was it for this episode of Ingest2 Mobile News. Please drop a like in the comment if you enjoyed it, because that helps a lot. Subscribe to not miss a future episode, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye. This is the future.